To my husband, I find it amazing how God has always listened when it came to me and you, even before we became me and you. When I was a young girl, playing with dolls and daydreaming about meeting in sync, I remember writing down everything I wanted in my future husband. It was all about the physical aspects, tall, pretty eyes, handsome, and curly brown hair. In high school, when I thought I knew everything about life, I prayed for a man who loved to spend time with my daddy outdoors, one who loves to fish and hunt. And then whenever I went to college, my outlooks changed drastically. I prayed for a man who supported my dreams wholeheartedly who saw my future as a blessing instead of the long road ahead that it would most assuredly be. Before I met you, in the midst of the chaos of medical school, I prayed for a man who provided me peace, who saw beauty in me, even through my faults and failures. This man should sound familiar to you. It didn't matter what stage I was in, God listened. He heard exactly what I wanted in my future husband. And in you, I have found everything I've dreamed of and more. When I met you, I finally understood why God chose for two people as man and wife to come together in unity. We became two halves of a whole soul in the most unique ways. I see it when we finish each other's very random thoughts, which happens more often than we would like to admit. I feel it when you take my onions and I steal your fries, and when we belly laugh at each other's jokes. I knew it when you became the only person I want to hold on a bad day and the first person I want to celebrate with in the big moments. I knew it when you became the only person I want to hold on a bad day and the first person I want to celebrate with in those big moments. And through those ways of me and you, I have found our vows. I vow to be your sidekick on all of your adventures, Whatever trip you plan to take us on, either around the world or through milestones, I'll be there. You are my rock, my stronghold through it all, and I thank God for it every day. Therefore, I vow to be your foundation, the constant stability you can always find when you feel unsteady and uncertain. I vow to be your partner walking beside you hand in hand through the many years we have ahead not a single step before or after you, but equally through the good and bad, together and united as we have always been. I vow to be your best friend, to laugh at all of your hilarious stories, to be the ear you'll need at the end of the day to listen, to be the arms that will comfort you when you most need it. Lastly, the easiest vow of all, I vow to love you. Loving you came swiftly, unexpectedly, and without any doubt, and I know I can do that for the rest of my life. Love, your Katie Lee. Katie, from the first time you asked me to dinner, you've always had me wrapped around your finger. Little did you know. I'm not going to lie, this is my 20th draft of my vows. I've tried to find the perfect words for a woman that leaves me speechless. It's impossible for me to tell you what you mean to me. The words do not exist. Your drive in life is second to none. You give everything you have all the time, and I love and admire that more than you'll ever know. I never second guess your love for me because you make me feel like I'm the only man in the world. Your beauty amazes me every day. It's what poems are made of. I've always been told I'm a lucky man, but I did not believe it until you agreed to a second date. I was never the smartest, fastest, or richest, but the way you looked at me showed me it's much more than that. If an average Joe can get a supermodel doctor to fall for him, anything's possible. The thing is, you make me a better man every day, every hour, every second. I've always felt like I had something missing. It was you. You were my missing puzzle piece. Katie Lee Edison, let's start with the little things. I vow to keep watching Harry Potter, going to Disney World, and bringing you on adventures. I will always be your best friend and listen to the gossip. I also vow to put you and our marriage first above all else. You will never feel second best, not wanted, or even an afterthought. 
I vow to always be your biggest fan and push you to conquer every dream you've ever had. When we start our family, I vow to be the best father I can because I know you will be the best mother. I promise to love you during the happy, tough, and never-ending times. I will be there. I will be there. I can finally breathe when I 